Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to format your chat using the plugin Pure Chat on Minecraft Pocket Edition. So, let's get straight into it. So, before we go ahead and install and set up Pure Chat, you do need to be aware that this plugin does require Pure Perms. We do have a tutorial on this on the channel already, and we will put a link to it in the description down below. So, go ahead and take a look at that video before you go ahead and set up Pure Chat, as it won't work without this plugin. So, once you've installed this, feel free to continue with the installation of Pure Chat. So, to install Pure Chat, you do need to make sure that it is compatible with your server version. So, the best way to do this is by going to this link in the description down below to the plugin, and then take a look at the supported API versions and check if they are compatible with your server. So you can do this by going to the control panel for your Minecraft server, then go to the console and type version, and you should see it mention the API version which the server is running. So this is running 3.0.0-alpha8. So if we go back to pure chat, you can see that it is supported. So once you've found out whether it's supported or not, click direct download, download the plugin to your computer, then once it's downloaded, go to the control panel for your Minecraft server, and then go to the file manager, go to the plugins folder, click upload file, choose files, and select the purechat.far that we just downloaded, and then click upload from computer. Then once you've uploaded it, restart your server. And also, I do want to remind you that you do need pure perms installed. Again, take a look at the tutorial on our channel if you don't know how to use that plugin as well. So once you've restarted your server, give it a few moments to start up, and then click the refresh button. And then once you click that, you should see a new folder appear called Pure Chat. So if you go inside of the Pure Chat folder, you should see a file called config.yml. So if we open that, and then in here, it contains all the settings for the Pure Chat plugin. So by default, Pure Chat creates some formatting procedures for some of the default groups within Pure Perms. So as you can see, we've got the groups guest, admin, owner, and OP listed. So what happens if you've created some of your own groups? So the best thing to do is go into Pure Perms and then go into the groups.yml folder for Pure Perms and then it's best to note down all the groups that you have within it. So I've opened a notepad file and I'm just going to note them all down and you need to make sure that you copy the correct capital letters. So if you've got capital letters in the middle of the word or whatever, you need to make sure they reflect the same lettering. So I'm just going to note down all the ones I have. So guest, moderator, admin, I also have owner, OP, and donator. And as you can see, I've matched the capitalization for each group. So once you've got these noted down, go back into Pure Chat and the config.yml for it, and let's compare what we have. So we have guest, we don't have moderator, we have admin, owner, OP, and we don't have donator. So let's add these moderator and donator ones in. And um, again, you may have different ones, so just copy what I'm doing, but for the different ranks that you have. So just copy like the guest one for example, copy that and then below it let's keep it in the same order and let's paste it below and then change the name to moderator or whatever your rank is and then you will also want to change, you see where it says guest here, you want to change that to moderator on both lines. And then again let's add the donator one, so let's copy the OP and let's paste it below and then let's change it to donator and let's change the prefixes again to donator. So now that we've got each group that we have in pure perms listed, we can start configuring it. So if we take a look at the guest one to start off with, you can see that we've got two lines here, chat and name tag. So the chat is basically what will be displayed in the actual chat when someone types like hi, for example, like I did earlier in the start of the video. And the name tag is what's displayed above a physical player when you look at them in game. So if you've got another player on the server and you look at them, this is what's displayed instead of the normal default white name. So let's first take a look at the chat. So at first, this could look quite complicated. So basically the formatting is within the quotes. So if you see here, all this highlighted text is the formatting for the chat setup. So you can see in here, there's a lot of um, random characters as and3, and l, prefix, and e, guest, and f, and r, display name, and seven, a little symbol and then message. So basically what all these and and then numbers or letters are, they're formatting or colour codes. So I've included a link to this page down in the description down below. And basically Minecraft has colour codes and formatting codes that can be used to make the chat look better. For example, you can change the colour, you can add bold, you can make it italic, etc. 
So basically each of these is what is listed here. So if you look here at the start, we've got and three and L. So that basically means that it's going to be a dark aqua and then bold. So if you look here, that's dark aqua and three is dark aqua and bold is and L. So that would make the prefix, which we're not using in this, but it would make the prefix um, a dark aqua and in bold. So although we're not using it, what does the prefix mean? So basically pure chat has tags that tie into different plugins. So for example, if you've got a factions plugin, you could include fact name and that would include the factions name um, within the message. So if I was to replace prefix with fact name and I had a factions plugin installed, it would display the factions name before the guest prefix. So I don't have that, so I'm just going to remove it. And I'm also going to remove and three as I don't want and three to be included. So now I have and L and E. So that means the guest message here should be in a, I think it's a yellow in bold. So let's double check that. And E is, yep, it's yellow. And then and L is bold. So it would be a bold yellow. And then after that, we have and F and and R. So what this does is set it to white. And I believe and R resets the format into the default. So if we take a look here, and F is white. And then and R is reset. So that will reset the display name, which is your username, to the default formatting, which would be white. And then after that, we have and seven and a little um, like section enough for the message. And then the message, so this means the message and that little symbol would be in, I think it's a light gray. Yeah, so there we go, it's the light gray and seven. So that means the message is in gray. So let's change this up a little bit. So I want the guest message to be displayed a bit different. So I want, the brackets to be bold and I want the guest message to be not bold. So the best way to do this would be putting and L and E before the bracket and after the bracket I put and R to reset the formatting and then I want the guest message to again be in yellow and then I want the end, the end bracket to be in bold and because we reset it we have to apply the bold again and then after that I want the display name to also be in a different colour. So if I go to the format matching codes and let's choose aqua. So I want the display name to be in a aqua, so I'd need to type and b. So instead of resetting it completely, I'm going to add and b at the end of and r. So now the display name should be in a light aqua. And then after that, I want the message to also be in a light aqua. So if I just remove this color code, it should carry on the light aqua all the way to the message. And I also don't want it to be a space between this display name and the character here and I want to replace that with a colon so it looks a bit nicer in my opinion. So now that's basically how I want it to be laid out and you can lay it out however you want. You can put color codes wherever you want, formatting codes wherever you want, completely up to you. However, this is a nice little simple layout which I like to use. So let's also copy this for the name tag. So I want it to display a similar thing to the chat. So if I just copy all of this and then copy it and then paste it above, so now the name tag should display in a similar way to the start of the chat. And it's important not to include the message here because you don't want your name tag to start including messages or cause any problems as that would likely cause a few problems as the name tag is not meant to display any messages. So now that we've done that, you can go ahead and edit each of your ranks to display whatever you want them to. And um, you can also remove the format completely. So it's just got a display name. So let's say I wanted the moderator to not have um, a prefix. I could just do something similar to this. And then the display name and message will just be in the default white with no extra things or anything at all. But again, you can do it to anything that you like for each rank. So once you've gone ahead and edited all the ranks, click save and then restart your server to apply the changes. So once your server has restarted, let's go ahead and join the game and take a look at the changes that we've made. So as you can see, I've just joined my server. And if I type in the chat something like, hey, you can see that it displays guest with yellow and bold brackets and then my name is in a light blue and also the text is too and it's got the colon instead. So that's basically how you format the chat using pure chat and pure perms. It's a fantastic way to make your chat look really nice and professional. So if you need any further help with this or you run into any problems, feel free to contact our support on our website. So if you go to our website, go to support and then message us and our support team should get back to you and should be able to help you with any problems. So thank you for watching. I really hope this tutorial has helped you and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.